Hello. Uh, today we are going to show uh, the role of the two types of magnetic floats that we use either in a borehole or in a tank that's, uh, that's uh, located on a tower. This magnetic floats play a, 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 a key role in how to secure, for example, the submerged pump uh, in a borehole. How to make sure that this submerged pump will not run uh, out of water, run dry. It, that can damage, of course, the pump. The floats, if you take them, this is a model one, these floats, they are quite similar. You can see them. So the part float itself is here, and inside you have a magnet kind of crown of magnet inside this box, this cylindric box. And inside this, uh, uh, this part, uh, so the stick inside, uh, between the two references here, you have inside the contact. Uh, so the move of the, magnetic, of the magnet uh, uh, from top uh, to down or down to top, from bottom to top, will uh, uh, make the, the, the circuit to be uh, able to circulate, uh, to drive the, uh, or to transfer current. So that's what we are, uh, we are showing in this video. At first, these two floats are similar, they are the same. Uh, you cannot tell which one uh, is uh, a normally closed one, the one that when submerged will uh, allow uh, current to circulate in the wires and the other one normally open the one that when submerged when submerged you know the float will move from bottom to top and then if it's normally open this will uh, allow current circulation in the wire so we are trying we are going to make the difference right now by using a multimeter now, the multimeter we are here is the unit T, uh, uh, 204 plus unit T. And this multimeter, if we put it on the position of measurement of uh, the resistance, then we will uh, uh, put the two electrodes, uh, we will connect them with the wire of the float. We will know when the current will be circulating, then it will emit a, a, a noise, a beep. That means the current is circulating within the, the body of the float. Uh, so depending on the position of the, of the float itself, uh, we will know which one is normally open, which one is normally closed. So if I turn this device into the resistance position, you see, OL, overload, it means that no current is circulating uh, between the, the positive and the negative of this uh, device. If I connect both together, you see that this figure will change. It, it will emit a, a noise, a beep. You see, 0 0.5 ohm as a resistance. That means current is circulating without connecting first our float. Now, I will try to know, I put here A and this one, I've written also B, but at first I don't know which one is normally open, normally closed. Remember that normally means that the float is submerged with water. So normally open means when submerged with water, then the float will move from bottom to top. Normally open, then in this position, no current will be allowed within the float. And normally Close means if it's if it's submerged, and this one f move from bottom to top. Then there is uh, if it's normally closed, there is circulation. If it's normally open, there is no circulation. It's always in reference uh, to the uh, submerged float. So we are going to check starting with uh, float float A. I will connect the extremities of the wire to the float. So this is, now it's not submerged. Huh? So if I connect, I put this down, 
If I connect uh, the two electrodes to the two wires, uh, I get this. So you see this one is emitting a noise. That means the, the current is circulating the water in the body of the float. So that means that I have a float that is normally open. Why? Because if I move the float on the top now, you have no current. No current. So this one is a normally open. See? It's a normally open. So this one is the one we will put in a reservoir uh, above a tower, for example. When the tank of the reservoir or the reservoir is full, then water will move the float from bottom to top and current will be broken. And this current uh, is, the, the wires of this float are aligned in series with uh, the, the pump. So it will break a power to the pump. The pump will stop. It means that uh, the tank of the tower, the reservoir, is full. If it's full, it breaks the current, so you can uh, connect this to the to a, a, a contactor, a magnetic contactor. Huh? We have seen that in another video. So you see, so that is normally open. So remember, the A I have taken is a normally open. Now I take the B. This is the B float. So the B. I'll connect the wires. Uh, the B should be normally closed. So you see, I have connected. If you check, I connect properly the wire here and here. So make sure that it's in contact. And you see, no sound. It means that there is no current circulating in the body of this magnetic float. Now, what I will do, maintaining the contact here, what I will do is I'll push the float itself from bottom to the top and you see when I do that then current is circulating now that means what this float will be put under water wa uh, water in a borehole a forage so if the water level dynamic level of the uh, of the water in the borehole drops goes down and uh, the pump is no more submerged that means it because this one you put at the same level than the pump the submerged pump itself so no water means water will go down and then to prevent the pump to pump when dry then this also goes down and the current is cut so it means the pump will not receive energy power anymore so all this can be combined with a magnetic flow of course now, one thing to be careful about when you are ordering these uh, devices, the float, be sure because this one will be in the this one will be in the borehole, totally underwater. So when they sell it, be careful to ask to the factory that they put some, uh, let's say, uh, glue here uh, in order to make it waterproof, so that water cannot enter here. So otherwise when it's new this one is open and the electric contact is inside this uh, this stick so if you don't close this they did this in factory yeah? uh, kind of uh, uh, you know the epoxy glue so it's uh, for both we have asked so even if accidentally this drop into water there is no problem so now we will show clearly this same process using a bucket full of water now we assume that we have a real situation where you have water. This one is supposed to be the water in the borehole, the forage. Water in the borehole and this one is the water in a reservoir. Uh, sorry, this one is normally open. If it's submerged, no current. If it's submerged, no current. That's the one that's going to the, uh, to the, the tower. The reservoir on top of a tower and this is normally closed that's the b normally closed so it means that 
if it's submerged, there is current. Submerged, current, this one has to be in the borehole. So that's what we are going to check. So we put the B inside our borehole. Just simulation. So this is our borehole. We put the B inside. Uh, so you see the float. Let's look at the float will move on the top from the bottom. You can see the movement eh? uh -huh. from the bottom to the, to the top. But you can submerge. And why I did tell that this one has to be made waterproof, you see, because it too is inside water. So then, if it's like that, and the pump is just beside, and this one is in series with the pump circuit, so if, if there is water really in the borehole, you will hear what? The current, so I put the, again, the multimeter on the position of measurement of resistance, the ohm meter, uh, it's OL now, uh, but now I will connect it to two wires, and you see this one and then this one and you hear that means if you uh, put the contact the current will move the pump because there is water so it will pump but assume that water drops water level drops 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 because of pumping uh, pumping in the borehole it drops it drops it drops, it drops, and then this can be now out of water. Uh, it's a mesh. And then the current is stopped. That means no pumping anymore. And the pump shut, is shut down. So this is for this model. It's, uh, it's the one that is normally closed, so the B is normally closed and the normally open is the contrary normally open that's A I take this one put some water so we are now on the top of a tower and this one we take it connect we put the float in this uh, reservoir you see again again so it's totally submerged in this case but normally in the in the uh, in the, the reservoir uh, it's not submerged it's outside because you want to fill the reservoir at some point you want the pump to stop because your reservoir is is full of water so normally it's outside and then you connect again you connect your multimeter in order to check when the current is passing and when it's not passing through the wire. So I connect this, you see here, current is passing. So say your reservoir is not full yet. And then you are putting water from the bowl. The water is coming, it's coming, and the water level will raise, 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 raise till reach the float and the float will move from the bottom to the top and then the current is stopped and uh, the pumping will stop at the same time so it doesn't matter uh, which which level exactly you put this this float you have to attach it to the wall uh, some way to the wall of your reservoir and then it will stop so this is something really very practical very useful to protect uh, the, 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 your reservoir not to be uh, totally full uh, so that uh, you have a loss of water but also to protect your pump huh, inside the borehole from running out of water so this is the practical uh, uh, knowledge that we had to uh, to show today uh, in the use of this uh, float and uh, last thing is that if you notice you have these uh, small rings here uh, protecting the the float part so this is these are the references where they you put really uh, the, the 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 line uh, across which your float will move this one is you can remove it actually you can remove this small ring and uh, between float a this 
one, plot A and plot B, actually they are the same. What uh, they do at the factory is just to reverse. This one, if you take, if you remove the ring here, you take this box and you reverse, you turn in the other direction, uh, then from normally open, you can pass to normally closed. So it's even possible to do that yourself. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you very much and uh, see you next time.